Buenos Dias. This is the last day in Spain for me. Well, no, I mean, I'll come back. <laughs> but <clears throat> the last day of my month in Spain, which has been wonderful. It's been great to work and run in the sun. <laughs> and obviously the pre-run coffee. And I was just chatting to Anadi and saying that any of you who's followed my channel for the whole year, we're nearly, we're nearly a year anniversary and thank you so much for running with me and yeah the one the ones of you who have followed me all the way will know that there was a patch where I really put my mileage up then you may have noticed I haven't mentioned my mileage because it didn't really suit me <clears throat> I think when I was a younger runner I was running I spent 15 years and I averaged probably 80 miles a week for 15 years my highest ever weekly mileage was 129 miles and I did lots of weeks on 100 and I put my mileage up a few months ago but to be honest I do work a lot I love my work but I do a lot and it didn't really suit me I didn't I don't think I improved I think I got tired <laughs> so I'm now back to flowing with the go and allowing my body to dictate and really running is very very simple it's a good idea to run if you're going to um, run in races, so go running. And I think one longer run a week is always useful for the body to just, you know, get the endurance. And then other than that, um, a couple of interval sessions a week, depending on the distance of running race you're doing, you'll do different lengths of intervals. And obviously, depending on the different length of running race, you would do more, more mileage and it would um, inform how long your long run was. But other than that, easy running, easy running. I've never had a problem with easy running. I've always naturally been someone who likes to run at conversational pace. Does that surprise you? <laughs> I enjoy having conversations on the run with people and running at that level. Obviously keeping our strength and conditioning, keeping agile, keeping ourselves strong and conditioned, strength and conditioning work, keeping agile, sleep, nutrition. It's all very obvious. I think, I think running is very obvious. And I have always been someone who doesn't particularly like measuring my data, so I prefer to run and not necessarily time it, not time my intervals. Even when I was running in the 80s at top level, I would occasionally train, run my intervals on the track so, and time them, but a lot of the time I ran on time. I do 10 three minutes or 6 times 5 minutes or 10 times a minute, all sorts of stuff. I did loads not on time over distance, so the only time I was timed was in races and that suits me I like it it's more freedom for the expression of the creativity of the um, soul emotion and so I do enjoy doing what I'm going to do today with Anadi which is going to look for an ATM first is that what they're called where you get money from yes he's nodding get a little bit more cash out for our last day and look for that uh, warm up and then do because I've got a mile race in May I'm doing again focusing on 200 meter intervals which I was doing in Lanzarote so just do eight 200s um, on this nice sandy stretch which is called the golden mile so come and do some come and get some cash out with me <laughs> and do some 200 meter runs by the sea I'm in my super shoes I hardly ever I haven't worn my super shoes I've worn them twice in a month. <laughs> it's a lovely feeling of the day waking up. And in Spain, it's a bit later. <laughs> so it's about, I think it's about three past nine or something there. And feels a sort of Things coming to life, people walking, the sun. <laughs> it's very lovely and just warming up to do a few little intervals <laughs> in my super shoes. I can feel one of the good things about going barefoot again is that I think it's harder work running in barefoot shoes. And putting these on, I really can feel a kind of propulsion forward. So watch this space. <laughs> and 
Jorge backwards. <laughs> hola, it says hola. <laughs> hola. <laughs> Muy bien. Oh, vamos. Tango dinero for el segundo desayuno. <laughs> Always good. Running to the second breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> that was really fun. I can feel the barefoot running in sand and just running in barefoot shoes. I'm stronger and it makes barefoot running makes me use my arms more. I feel very strong. I obviously I first the first rep was longer because I'd forgotten I'd measured 200 earlier in the week or two weeks and I I got the start place wrong. I was like oh this is a bit further <laughs> so the first one was longer but I felt very good, I enjoyed it. So thank you Anadi for the running backwards and on one leg and all the things that you do amazingly behind that camera. So thank you for once again running with me, run with Julia. And I was just chatting with Anadi and reflecting that we had the fun to meet in person Ian Bishop, who many of you will know. He's an ex-professional football player he played from the early 80s to the very early 2000s. He played 700 professional games. He played for West Ham and he played for Man City. And he's a, a connection with Anadi because of Anadi's iSports analysis um, platform, do look. And so he happens to be in Marbella. So we all, well, Anadi met him and then I joined in. And we had a lovely and very enjoyable, very fun. He's an amazing spirit, he's great fun. But we did establish, Ian and I, but we're both wild childs. Well, Anadi is too, actually. But Ian and I have a certain breed of wild child, which is more noisy. <laughs> noisy, Ian, if you're watching this. I mean that in a very celebratory way. And um, we both say that crushing our spirit doesn't work. And for me, too much organised training has never been good for me. I have to, obviously, there's a degree of getting up and doing it every day. There's a degree of what I said earlier in the video. There are things that are necessary for the endurance, for the speed endurance, for the strength, agility, all those things are obvious. But how you put them into your program, it's very much, it's very important that it, it suits you as a well, being, so that it's an expression of you. And for me, I need that freedom of expression. And then, like today, I thought, oh, I've had nothing organised this um, month. But of course, there's a degree of rhythm because... I know how to train. 
I should do, shouldn't I? <laughs> 50 years of it. So I felt good. And we will see what happens when I start putting myself on a start line when I get back to the UK. But whatever, I'm enjoying it. And if you've loved the video, as always, please put a thumbs up. And thank you so much. Thank you. Namaste. As I said, we're now 302 subscribers and the year anniversary of my channel is this weekend. So what an amazing year. And thank you all of you who have run with me and let's continue another year beginneth. <laughs>